this is the torque limiter out of the BMW G450X I thought I'd make a quick video of dismantling it because uh, I needed to remove mine and dismantle it and I couldn't find anything at all on YouTube about it and with it being looking at forums it seems to be um, like a very common issue problem occurrence that um, I thought there'd be more online about it but there isn't so um, I've had this I had this in the vise with two pieces of wood soft wood either side to grab this so that I could undo this screw here it was um, extremely difficult to get out because it's thread locked into place so I used my uh, airline my uh, air wrench on it so to get it out so this will come out really easy now obviously because I've do it there's loads of thread lock on this screw when it first came out you can't see any now because it's been in there a few times um, while I've examined everything so that is the shim from BMW you get a pack of four shims that and the set it comes as a set I'm just going to have to speak to my dog now no don't lick that naughty boy yes yeah, so you get you get four of these in a set and uh, are you helping that's very good isn't it yes thank you thank you off you go then go and get your ice cream uh, yes yeah, so you get set these four shims now I've measured this shim this shim that was on it although um, hopefully you can see it on there it's extremely deformed I've managed to measure the bit sort of in the middle that was on between the screw and the bearing uh, consequently when you get these and you one of these the bearing it comes with a bearing on it because obviously the screw when they put it together the screw holds the bearing into place it uses the inner race of the bearing to press on the what I believe to be called a Beaumont spring um, yeah back to these flat washers this one's deformed so I measured it this one measures 0.5 millimeters in the bit that was squashed in the middle uh, the shim set come you get a 0.6 a 0.5 a 0.4 and a 0.3 uh, millimeter thickness so next piece off is the bearing this is the outer bearing uh, which is in the outer case you have to heat the outer case up um, and then you can really gently tap it out doesn't you don't get mad and uh, you know because the, the outer case is very thin you'll snap it in half if you go crazy this is believed to be called a Beaumont spring and it's like a sort of big dished washer then next off this will all come apart really easy because I've cleaned all the oil off it but when you take it out of the engine it's all glued together with oil so that's your first one smooth on one side you can see like a ring on it where the Beaumont disc has been pressing on it and the other side's like uh, don't know really it's like a shot blasted it seems to have some sort of coating on it which is very grippy and hard wearing I've measured these outer plates I've measured it where there's sort of like you can see where some wears happened and I measured it next to the splines where uh, nothing's been touching it and they measure pretty much exactly the same so there's practically no wear on that next piece to come out is your outer gear and it has this phosphor bronze bush with splines on it in the middle and let's put that piece down yep that's that one you know the other side of this is what you might have seen on posts and things where it's got these little tags where the E is going the next set of shims is a double sided one of those ones and then you've got the thing with the disc with ears on it another double sided one of those another disc with ears on it and finally a very thick single sided disc which you can't get in the wrong position look because you can see where the teeth from the other gear have chattered on it and left an impression so you don't get it wrong this piece this gear also comes off these splines but it's quite tight I'm not gonna but there's no reason to take it off it's clean so you can just hear that I don't know where you could hear that it is moving but if I press it back in yeah so but there's no reason to take that off so there we go right I've done some measurements using one of these and I wrote down the results what I did I've made the assumption that there's like a lip where these ears are um, where the discs don't touch them there's like a little 
lip step up so i've assumed that maybe where these ears are that's the original plate thickness and obviously where it's worn it's going to be thinner and this is the measurements that i took so i took on the two discs on these two discs here like i say i measured these other ones and it doesn't seem to be like any they don't seem to have worn at all the, the measurements of where there's been nothing touching it seem to be match where the, the readings are where they where it has been where so yeah so i took you know several readings gave me an average so i took the the tab is obviously thicker than the face where it's been wearing and it left me 0.2 on one and 0.22 on another so i've got a 0.44 loss of um thickness due to wear the only thing i can't really measure is this one because there's no real reference point on it so it may be that this is worn slightly as well so that's where we are with it now like i say the shims that you can get are 0 0.6 0 0.5 0 0.4 and 0 0.3 so i mean just doing a calculation if you assume when this thing was put together properly it was okay i've lost um like I say 0.44 the shin fitted is 0.5 so that gives me 0.94 but whether the correct thing to do is to put you know add two shims to get 0.94 together I don't know because what you're supposed to do is shim this thing up uh, and then test it by you need a sort of bit of a test rig that grabs hold of these gears so that you can turn one gear against the other gear using a torque wrench and it should give you the slip value which is written on this rear disc here which is on this one is there we are it says 240 newton meters and that is about it to get this out of the g450x i just took the engine out i was going to try and do it with it in the chassis still in the frame and kind of move it but then I thought by the time I'd taken off everything to do that I just thought well I've only got to take out the engine mounts and undo a you know, take the exhaust manifold off and unclip a, a couple more electrical connections and so I just thought well, I might as well just take it out and make the job a lot easier for myself so that's what I did <laughs>